started helping probably about two dozen families. Now it's grown where we help close to 500 families every year for the Christmas Angel program. As the need has grown, so has the size of the Christmas Angel program. With more food than ever to give away this Christmas, hundreds of families will enjoy the holiday with a full stomach. We're doing about 200 military families and then also we're helping another 200 families here with the help of UAW Fort. UAW 862 volunteers started at 5 a.m. preparing the meals for delivery until every box was stuffed. Local President Todd Dunn says his chapter focuses on building a stronger community 365 days a year. It's just an opportunity for us to teach everybody, even with our own families, how to give back uh, and how we do it at UAW. We also want them to believe in us and believe in what we could do other than just bring tax uh, tax incentives and, and put the money back in the economy, but we also want to see our communities grow. A community effort from Mark's Feed Store, UAW, Kern's Kitchen, and various other businesses and organizations donated food for each box to be packed to the brim with a turkey and all the Christmas fixings. Mark Slaughter with the Kentucky National Guard says the program creates a bridge for families when they need it most. It's not a permanent thing and generally what happens is you just get a, a little temporary help, uh, kind of a hand up and, and, and that bridges the gap and, and you're able to move on. Speaking from his work with military families, he says 22 percent of them struggle with underemployment or being unemployed and it's a challenge to ask for a helping hand. From personal experience, it's very difficult to, to say, look, I can't do this on my own, especially um, when, you know, as a military member, if, you know, when you, you, when you get out and you've, you're, so, you're, you're used to kind of being the guy that's in charge or doing the things that you do.